Hello and welcome back to another episode of Omnrock Plays Prison Architect. So I'm still in this prison. Um, I haven't collected the Polaroid yet and I just noticed when I loaded this up that there's something going on down here and I have two dead guards. And this dude seems to be attacking them. Now he's unconscious, that's alright. Just had to knock him out. My guards appear to be searching stuff. I've still got dead, dead bodies all over the place. Not the most ideal situation. Finding stuff over there. Should probably rebuild a wall here as well. Where's that concrete wall? Along there. Um, and we'll put some doors in. Let's get out of that. Uh, rubble there, let's ignore that. Okay. I was gonna try and um... Actually, where'd that go? I was gonna try and get through all of this. But I think I might just skip that and continue on in um... in the story mode. Another thing I've done is I've upped the game sounds as well because I did notice that the game sounds were very very quiet in the um the previous thingies. Just gonna s just try and get power in here and then I will jump to the next thing. Ah oh, there we go. So we do did have the mortuary there and our infirmary. So we did get those set up. But let's just let's go to the entrance Polar right here. Just to continue on the story mode, because I'll I'll build prisons after I've done the the story story mode thing. Okay, so we're next starting this one now. A lot of tattoos of spider webs. Dr. Walter Hurst, the lack of engagement at this facility is shocking. Men deprived of every shred of humanity. Are being shown sta scant compassion or respect. It's not what these men deserve. Indeed, Captain, there's no way to treat a human being. They're deprived of every shred of humanity. Why should they abide to our rules? You can't expect them to respond in any way but with the utmost resentment. We need classrooms, drug rehabili rehabilitation programs, a workshop so they can start taking some pride in their skills. You must understand me, Doctor. These men aren't human. See for yourself. Is that because he looks like Spider-Man? Is that why you think he's not human? On your feet, Morgan! You've got a visitor! Rehabilitation? Might as well teach monkeys to play the banjo. That would be pretty awesome, teaching monkeys to play the banjo. Let's totally do that as well. What's your name, son? Man asked you a question. Henry, sir. Might be cold down there, Henry. Put this on. Lice in the bed, sir. Eating me alive. Shirt keeps up the rats. Biggest ones I've ever seen. This is a really bad prison. How are you sleeping? Don't sleep. Only thing I do here is think. Lots of time for thinking. What do you think about? Dying mostly, and my little girl. She'll need you to be strong, Henry. This will be hard for her too. Being behind every day, bars every day of her life, she doesn't even know I exist. It's never too late to change your life, Henry. It's true. I'd like to come see you again if I may. Yes sir. Thank you sir. Call me Walter. Walter White. No, it's Walter Hurst. Can we do something about these rats? This isn't the third world. I'll get some rat poison in there. That doesn't sound good. Putting rat poison in a jail cell. Incoming call. Following the recent tragedy at Alchemico State Prison, we are under immense political scrutiny. Till a permanent replacement is found for the CEO position, I'd like you to take up 
take the reins. There have been a spate of suicides at this facility recently, and it's not hard to see why. We have more immediate problem. The powers that be have decided to send us a huge batch of new inmates. The first will be arriving tomorrow, and we don't have anywhere to house them. We need you to build a brand new cell block with enough space to handle the new intake. Okay, this I should be able to handle. Oh, it's on the other side of the road. Interesting. I've laid out a potential design for the new cell block here. This should give us enough new cells to handle the intake, and the design includes its own shower facility. It's up to you if you choose to follow this design or do something totally different. I think I'll stick with his design. My job is to prioritise the welfare of these men, get that new cell block built, and we'll talk about how to achieve that. Okay. Provide cells for 40 inmates. Does this have 40? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32, 34, 36, 37. Is that all it has? 37 isn't 40. Double check that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37. Ah, 37. If we make it a tiny bit bigger, so let's go into planning. If we do this, not that far. Not that far. And that, and that, and that. Take out that. And then we go like that. I missed one wall. That should be 40 there. With a shower facility there. And all the other things, so let's do that. Um, I kind of like this design. It's a good design. Let's build it out of concrete. Make it that big. Uh, objects, we want a large jail door there. Let's get this going. Provide a yard as well. So what we can do... What I might do is I might have a yard coming off of here. So that'll be... Um, rooms, we'll go for yard. Where is the yard? Never find these things. There. So if we just build something like, let's go for a yard, nice big one, like that, decent sized yard. What I'll do is I'll fence it off, so that's out there. Like that. And then I will objects, I'll put a large jail door I think do two large jail doors. I'll do one here. Once I've cleared away this tree, I'll do another one there. Come on. Is that fight it takes a really long time to cut down trees. It's like that's almost built though. Come on. One down. There we go. So now all we need to do is plan out these once that's actually popped up as being built. There we go. Now we can fill all of these in. The walls. And it looks like they've already got the um, lights in. I always forget to... I mean the, the electrical cables. I always forget to turn off auto-place lights because I never like where they place the lights. It never places them in nice spots. Mm. Place all of these tedious job of placing all of the walls. That. There, 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 there. There. Boop, boop. Boop, doop, doop, doop. Then these ones. This looks like some of these cells are going to end up without um, lights in them, so I'll have to do that. Remove 
that. Okay, objects we want. Jail doors. This. I usually do my cell blocks a lot smaller than this. They'll be usually about um, 16 or 20 cells per block. It's easier that way, I think. Done these. I will go into utilities. Extend the electrical cable out this way a bit. And let's go along here as well. Okay, we will need pipes that go right across here, and across here, across here, and across here. Should be all good. Um, rooms. We want cells. Go bam for that. That. There and there. Then let's do the shower thing first. So I'm gonna have drains like that. And I have one under each of these because I think this is where I'll put the shower heads. That's probably where it wants me to, so I might as well go with that. I usually put them along the walls, but we can go like this. It's just so that the water doesn't all escape out. Uh, rooms, shower. It's easier if I just search it. They have giant showers there. So now we'll need to put beds and toilets in here. So objects, go for the go for the toilets first. Toilets I will put in this corner here. To do in all of them. This is the most tedious part of it, placing all of the individual items. And another four, three and four, and then what we need is beds as well. And I'm going to have the beds along the back wall like this. Maybe I should have put the uh, all the stuff in the cells before I put the doors on. Because now the all of the um oh there we go they're all open now. And we'll put a path in that is materials. Go for paving stone. We'll go along there, up there. Let's open this and let's lock this open at the moment, just so that the um, workmen can run in and out. So we'll want some things in the yard as well, just to make them make them happy. Some weights. That's not weights. Benches. That's phone booths. Let's throw some phone booths up here. There, there. Let's go double one in the middle. Uh, weight pictures. Throw them along here. Another lot opposite that. Two, three, four, five. Should keep them happy, I think. Might even throw windows in, in their cells. The ones in the middle won't have windows, but all of the outside cells will. That's generally why I only do um, certain num uh, the uh, twenty odd cells in each um, cell block because then I can have um, windows on all of them to that lead to the outside. 
Oh, there's one window and all of the ones that can have windows. I've already started throwing inmates in here. Let's throw this on max speed so hopefully it gets done faster. The shower's working. The yard is working. I don't think they'd throw inmates in here yet though. That's alright. They'll go faster now, getting everything done. That guy just walks through the walls. Not a very secure prison if people can walk through walls. How's the utilities going? There's the last one of that. Okay, so I've built this incoming call. I was hoping to see you at one of my sessions. I can't do it. I can't stay in this hole any longer. Just take it a day at a time. I mean the whole stinking place. In here, out there, they won't let me see my family. I messed up, sir, and that ain't about to change. Henry, it's going to be okay. I'm right beside you. It's funny, he said the exact same thing. Who, Henry? You can tell me. This is going to be a really messed up story. It's going to be a really messed up story. He looked out for me. Ever since we were kids. Okay, so not as messed up as I thought it was going to be. That's good. Keep your shit together. Whatever happens, kid. I'm right beside you. He did say it. Hands up, motherfuckers. Grab the money, kid. You only grabbed two of the monies. There's all the other monies in the van. Drop your weapons, now! Oh shit! Why didn't they take the armoured vehicle? Shoot, goddammit! What the hell are you waiting for? Shoot, you fucking pussy! It's okay to be scared, Henry. There's one cop dead. And there's him injured. Shit, shit, shit! Don't shoot, don't shoot! So he's not a murder leader. That's a good thing. Right beside me. He ain't there no more. I'll make you an agreement. Come to my next group and I'll see if we can relax your visitation privileges. You'd do that for me, sir? It's not just for you, Henry. It's for your family, too. I mean, call. Treated these men like dirt for too long. That ends now. The previous CEO was never a big believer in prisoner reform, but the way I see it, we need to provide these men with some sense of hope for the future. We need to give them the skills they need to succeed when they're released. Valuable trade skills, a basic education. We should start a, start a work apprenticeship scheme, train these men with some real world skills. So at least they can have a future they can look forward to. Okay, so, looking at the time, it's pretty much time for me to finish up this episode. So I'm going to end it here and I'll come back and I'll be doing the um, the training skills thing. So thank you all for watching, I hope you've been enjoying watching this as much as I have had of playing it, and I hope you tune into the next episode. This is where I disappear, so bye-bye now.